All right, welcome to the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved, the Ragnarok map. And uh, over there on the old server, we'd call this uh, Admin Island or something like that, or CC Island, Community Center Island. But over here, it's just another island. Uh, all the uh, creatures here are non-aggressive until I say hello with Mr. Giga. Uh, Kermit is pretty much ready to rock and roll and I'm gonna take him throughout the island and we're gonna get a lot of hide I'm trying to level him up to do uh, red drops or uh, orbital drops <coughs> excuse me There's uh, lots of levels he's getting. He's put it all into melee. He doesn't really need anything else. Doesn't even need more health or anything. So what I do here is... Uh, oh, I forgot I had that on him. I'll keep all the good stuff on my person. And dump all that meat I don't need. And put some more melee on. Remember, if you put points, if you're on extinction and you put points on an animal, it'll be corrupted. It, it will never, it never reaches potential. Everything is just corrupted over there. I'm going 4,000 damage. That's good. That's how you do it. There we go. See? 951 damage. And just got that, that, dump this. Nothing's really even living long enough to attack. stuff on me. I want to see what was in it. It probably has a costume. Yeah, some bones. Oh, let me take that back. Alright. Worst place to land, brother. Worst place to land. You too. Oh. This guy wants to attack me. Poor little Fomia. more points up here See? by the time I'm done this thing will have so much damage it'll be an overwhelming monster 5,700 look at that just, this is just to level it up just to level it up nothing special 
Somebody dropped some pumpkins there. They've been there for the longest time. Alright. Look at all that hide I'm getting. Plenty of points. See, I'm not trying to run. If I run, it'll use up all my stamp. getting there. I'm gonna have to go back soon. Yeah, I'm pretty much full. Let's, let's walk back to base. Kill a couple of these guys. Uh, there it is. I don't know if it's important, but I'll definitely keep them. Pretty much cleared the island more or less except for certain flyers seem to be avoiding everything.
so that's how you level a giga just walk around just kill every every damn thing there i drop the meat drop the meat keep the hide drop the meat keep the hide you know so you got lots of hide Make sure you get all of it off there. And I just leave him there so he can get more levels. So he's at 1,233.7 damage. Which is pretty damn good. When you think about it. So There you go. Hide's important because you need that for saddles. Nope. Those bones is pretty heavy. heavier than I thought. Yep, it's a lot of meticulous work. I bet you got a bunch of meat on this. Yeah, 4,000 meat. That'll, that'll hold back pretty much anybody. Let's see how much. Yeah, I'll put majority of that there. Put a little bit back on me. Way too much meat on me. It's a little better. Oops, have to get uh, the hide. Boom. All right. So that was pretty good. Now, I want to go hit the red drops. See what I could do over there and just go for a ride. Don't have enough tank equipment. Do some fishing. Look at that. I still got uh, bait. But that norm on normal servers, that'll be gone by now. By the next day, all that would be gone. I guess I can go try to do more uh, fishing. See what's up with that. You know. Now I'll try that on my own personal time. What I'll do is I'll. Uh, We'll go back to the swamp, do some more swamp swamp fishing, see what we can find.
Yeah, I was cooking the Giga, the Giga, um, the, uh, fe she gave me a female Giga egg last time, so I was cooking that, I could put about an hour on it, and then I decided to put it back in in case somebody stoops down and tries to take it. Uh, I'm going to get my tea, and I'll be right back. I'm back. Mm. I'm trying to volume up a bit. Yeah, my neighbor over here, he put up a bunch of gates and stuff like that all the way around the island. And it's like, dude, that's not going to do nothing. Nobody, <laughs> nobody's going to evade you from the other side, you know, <laughs> of the water.
Yeah, I made some uh, green tea, and uh, there's a tea that's made for the morning, and it's called Moringa, which is a variation of green tea from what I can tell. You drink that instead of coffee to get uh, a pep in the morning, but there's no uh, side effects like uh, crashing and things like that, supposedly. See, can I get up there? Yes, I can. Nothing deadly on this island either, but still. Keep going this way and park this more or less the same spot we did last time. It's a nice day, so. It's Saturday. This morning I did laundry, folded it, brought it in, did some shopping, bought some knickknacks, some cat food. So far it's been an awesome day. I've actually had an awesome day. Productive. Mm -hmm. be two in. I think this will go. Get that and turn this off. Alright, so there are already some people over there attacking him. Ah, so what happened is the Megatherium was attacking back this creature and it hit one of those little birds. And those little birds will swarm the shit out of you. They'll kill you if they can. Uh, uh, what did I get? Ascendant Dodicarus Saddle 59.4. See if it's better than the one I've got now. And don't need that. Let's see. What else? I can get some ammo. Let's see. And then I think that'll work fine. Yeah, when you're this close to the swamp, you know, it shit will right up on you. See those birds? They're like trying to eat them now. Or something under there is trying to eat those corpses. Anyway, uh, moving on. Let's just uh, see if we can find any good uh, levels today. Oh, I forgot. I, sh I was going to bring the Gigantosaurus over here to, to munch down on these guys and clear the swamp out if I didn't find anything good. But... We'll see. It's nighttime, it's hard to see anyway. You know. It's a 50 Baryonyx. Kill it. What else we got here? There's another berry. The thing about berry is 
It better be a good level if I'm gonna waste my time with it. I consolidated some berry onyxes a long time ago on extinction. I just had the base there and I was just, you know, doing what I could. Whoa. Too excitable there. Oh, oh, oh. One, 150. It's a 150. There it is, right there. Okay, let's see if we can get you. Uh oh. I accidentally lightninged something. Okay. Let's see if we can get you into the thing. It should be over here somewhere. Where's my boat? There it is. Here's my boat. Now, I don't think that anything... I don't think the frog can reach the beds, but I'm going to move the beds to a further location because that's too close to the cage in hindsight. Alright, that works. Yeah. Let's see if I can place it somewhere else. Place it here. Hey, it's a 150. It is a 150. Okay. Uh, for a moment there, I thought I maybe missaw something. And he's hiding right there. Boom. Did I, did I forget to get Prime? I don't have any taming meat. Shit. prime meat. Yeah, without that prime, I ain't gonna be taming nothing. There it is. Alright, that's as far as I'm going with that. Alright, it's unconscious. Alright, 150 female. Nice. See? Boom. See, I have a bunch of frogs. and I have the same kind of creatures I'm getting now over there in that other server, but it's pretty much a, a really dead server unless you hang with somebody or you, you join their their little club or whatever. But I learned not to trust people with my tames, you know, I just, I just don't trust them. So that's a female 150. Uh, oh, I should have done that. Uh, this is the shit I don't need. Okay. That'll be tame by the time I get back. Seeing if we can find another high level one. Nope, that's a 20. Gotta go. They came up with a, a more powerful crocodile that you can tame on another server and it's pretty interesting.
female Sarko 140. Nah. Easier that way. Just cost me some stamp. Telling you, turning in wide circles takes a lot of practice. I guess since I'm here, I could try to get more leech blood too. Go see if I can get those red drops in the desert. I don't think I'll take my boat over there though. That's a long distance. 135. No. survived that. <sighs> oh, that's a 150. That's a nice 150, Sarko. Alright, let me go get that. Uh, I'm sure by now that uh, frog is already done. I just have to label it and cryo it. And I'll come back for that 150, Sarko, real quick.
keep those. Uh huh. Right. Alright, so you're good, you're good. Let's put this over here. I don't want to lose this one. Let's go get that Sarko. What I love about these full-size wyvern. A full-size wyvern like this can pick up a lot of stuff. What are we doing? What are we doing? There it is. I think that's it. No. How about this one? There it is. That's 150. Gotcha. See? Those little tropical wyverns, I don't think you can do this very well, if at all. I mean, they're just not made, they're made to go fast and do other things, but they're not made to pick something up. Look how fast I'm just picking the sucker up and throwing it in the cage. You know, nothing that's going to beat that. And I somehow missed the cage. And I somehow missed it again. Okay, let's try that again. I guess it's, it's just too long, you know, it's just so long. Okay, baby. It's out. Yep, it's unconscious. I don't think I need that many of those. On there. All right, so we got another 150. Yeah, just 145 or 150. That's the only two I'll do. I really don't like. I should do 140s, 130s, and you can get good stats off them, but. You know, if you want the best, you want to up your your standards. All right. I'll give it a little while and come back and pump it for full of narcotic, so it doesn't. We don't lose the tame. looking for some leeches. I haven't really seen any leech spawns yet. I'm sure they're here somewhere. Oh, somebody put a ship right in the middle of the damn swamp. Or a raft. They went into the swamp in a raft and they probably either got 
killed or they or they just got stuck and ran away. 140. Yeah. There's some leeches. There's there's leeches right there. Saving that leech blood. Cycle 55. 140. It's trying to put back good ones, but nah. Yeah, off camera I'll probably try to do some fishing. I haven't done real fishing in a while, but uh, it's like I said, I, I'm out of practice. I snapped several lines last time I tried to do it. But uh, we did find a good fishing spot. It's just... Some narc before or before she wakes up and have to retame her. Yeah, I was drinking some cold soda, but it's kind of cool now. So I started reacting because you're in a cold environment and you're drinking cold. So I switched up to tea. Just give her 10. Should be all she needs. Alright, very good. Oh yeah, let's get majority of this crap off of here. And put it back in here. Got 500 leech blood. Very good. 
Very good. 500 leaps. Yeah, the only way uh, we uh, got ascended uh, fishing poles when they over there on the domination server we had an event where you get to fish and they gave you leech blood and they gave you ascendant fishing poles like the one the girl gave me and uh, you would get blueprints and stuff and sometimes you'd get apprentice level sometimes you get good stuff it just depends it was random but you know personally I know for a fact that you get really good stuff from those orbital drops those are the shit. I mean, they, they are what you want. More leeches up ahead. I'm gonna kill them before they jump on me. Because they jump on you and it's, it's so nasty. And then you gotta pull them off. That's 145. Okay. So way over here, just before you get to the water, there's a 145. Let me go see if she's done over there. sure she was what a 150 mm. it's Angela I think she was a 150 I don't quite remember but let's get her out of here so I can go get that 145 I look at the stats anyway. The level doesn't matter at, at, for me because I consolidate and I, I care about the stats. Because the stats are something I can try to get off there, you know. Seven eighty eight leech blood, wow. I don't know if it goes into the preserving bin or 
I should experiment with that. Got her. 145. I like her colors, like a black and purple, but it's like a black and fuchsia kind of color. Very lighter purple. I saw something down there. Oops. Yep. She's there. She's on the way already. Alright. Yeah, I love, that's what I love about the frogs, man. You don't even need an arc on them. They just, that prime just wins them over real quick. Get some stam here. Oh, there's no leeches. Yeah, as soon as you land, the leeches start to creep towards you. You don't see them until it's too late. And all of a sudden, they're attached to your ass. The old days, I I I settle for that, but not anymore.
This is also where I come to tame these guys. These little, they're called, uh, what are they called? Dimorphodons? Yeah, those are good for, like, attacking and stuff like that. But I still think the vultures uh, are better at attacking simply because they uh, are armor penetrators. They will find vulnerabilities and, and all that. The other ones don't do that. Sometimes there's good stuff way over here, but rarely. See it, it was there a moment ago. Uh, 50. I haven't seen a good Baryonyx. I think when I first came to the server, I saw one good one. But that's it. flowers there. Wow, you can get a lot of silk there. Like he pissed off the wrong crowd, he got himself killed. I was gonna kill that berry, but then they killed him for me. Uh huh. See where the swamp's going to be any other good options here. And I got a ton of leech blood for later on. If that stuff keeps as well as I think it is, I can probably do some fishing while I'm uh, working. See if I can. I just need a better fishing spot though. It's got to be a better fishing spot. I 
I'm sure that. One other thing we could do is go look for more Rexes. I wouldn't mind going for some more Rexes here locally and seeing if we can do that because it would be it'd be cool to have maybe five more Rexes, five or more more Rexes that increases the chances of getting good stats big time. boats over here yeah I think that's it I'm, I'm not gonna go anymore here I got so many uh, Buffalo's Buffalo's there's a Buffalo's Beasel Buffalo I think so Buffalo So I got one good Sarko female and two female, one f 250, no, 145, 150. I think she was a 150. So I got three of them. That's not bad. Could be worse, you know. All right. So with that wonderful thing, Let's get the gas. There we go. Always leave a little bit in there. I got an animal in here, like a flyer in case I die. Here, I got a pterodon. Let's see. Let me rename this. Uh, trap one. Trap two. There we go. So I can get a few more things based on the number of cryos I have. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Oh, man, that tea's good. Ugh. I was never a tea drinker. I used to like milk, and I used to like... Um, I used to like uh, milk and I used to like um, like coffee, uh, hot chocolate. Well, I still like hot. I, I still like those things, but after a while, uh, tea was good. My favorite tea is still going to be uh, Earl Grey. I tried it out because of uh, Jean Luc Picard on Star Trek. It says Earl Grey hot, and I was like. Man, I gotta find out what the big deal about this Earl Grey shit is. And sure, <laughs> sure enough, it was really good. It's much, much better than I originally thought. Oh, I'm gonna go around this. So, we're gonna do some water taming. Probably gonna do Megalodons because they're the easiest to get. They're the most plentiful. The way I do that is I take some gear. I, I tame a low-level Megalodon that doesn't take too much to tame. Put a cheap saddle on it. Put all the points into stamina because they're fast enough and maybe a few points into weight and I just go ahead and, and try to make sure 
that I can um, tame it underwater and make sure I have flippers and scuba and all that. And so I just go and I tame it underwater and hope nothing else is around while I do that. Over there at the old base location, I was taming them left and right because that's where they spawn a lot, way over there. But, you know, when you're on a megalodon in the middle of open water, you pretty much can tame anywhere you find them. For sure. You know. Oh, look, here's that. I don't know if this is a houseboat or what this is. It looks like it's a raft. But I'm not entirely sure. It looks to me like... What is this connected to? I'm almost afraid to look. Let's see. Oh shit, I don't see it connected to anything. Oh, it's a boat. It is a boat. This is the boat. But they put the... They didn't embed... See, I embedded my metal parts into the boat so you see very little of the actual boat. Very, very little of any of it. So if I do that. Yeah, anyway. That's nice. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. It looks like it's floating on the water, and I'm like, what the heck is causing that effect, you know? <laughs> it's just not. Anyway. Uh, let's try it. Get out of here. So what I'll do is I'll just park it here. Leave the gas in it because it doesn't really matter too much. And we'll go ahead and we'll go look for raptors and rexes and see if we find anything useful. Just for the heck of it. have a good Carno saddle. That's that location right there. That's where my base is uh, on the other map on the uh, Ragnar uh, not on the uh, Ragnarok uh, domination server cluster. That's where I have my base there. It's just a little breeding base, but I haven't done much with it. Oh, that's a 150. I'll, I'll take that one because I do have a, a Carno saddle. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I used to breed Carnos. They were one of my favorites for a long time. And then somebody swooped in and just claimed all my shit. I left it outside so it can grow a little bit. And I came back and it was gone. They just took all my shit. Let's see, I think I parked it over here somewhere, right? Right. Yeah, it's way over here. It's past that that guy's boat. <laughs> See, that's a nice design, but you know, if you don't protect the boat, the boat can still take damage. I think uh, it's not 100% protected. There we go. Hey, 
How's it going? Are you actually trying to get past that? You shouldn't be able to. <laughs> okay, switching to the smaller gun. There you go. This is what, a female? Oh no, it's a male 150. Okay. Pretty sure that's good. I think they tame fast. I don't remember exactly. But I think that prime meat will get good chunks. I don't think I'll need... Uh, I don't think I'll need any narc on this one. I just so happen to have, a, I have a, I have a Carno saddle that's pre-made. That's okay. That's got like, I think it's under a hundred, but it's nice to have a, another caving animal. You know, you can throw it out there and just let them, you know, sacrifice the shit out of it. You know, I bet I'll find another uh, female 150 and then breed them. Whatever you put out there in the caves, you definitely want them to be, uh, Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. You want them to have imprints to get those bonuses, and you want them to be leveled up. Don't take anything into a cave that's not leveled up, unless it has a real good saddle, because you'll probably get it killed. He's good. Nice and warm. Kind of a chilly day, but it's a sunny chilly day. It's sunny and chilly. Mm -hmm. I just want to see how much a prime will do. You could look at the ratio, like you can see how far that purple bar has dropped. See? So for every, what, five centimeters, you'll get like almost an inch and a half or an inch of uh, taming. So he doesn't need, or yeah, he doesn't need any uh, anything. It's fine. Yeah, I had uh, consolidated these, and I was going to use them as caving animals purposely because there are some caves that, you know, maybe you don't want to use a thylo in. You want to use something else. You can use those. Then I was going to mutate the shit out of them and put as many uh, attack mutations on it as possible. So when this son of a bitch hits you, it's like being hit by a Rex, you know? That's what I wanted. Something small and as good as a Rex. Yeah. So he can stay there. Let's go look around for a Rex. That'll tame by itself. Uh, see, see, see. These guys. I hate these guys. I don't think I need any more electronics, but I'll take it. <laughs> when I first started learning about this game and pertaining to things that require electronics, 
She, I told Cal, I need electronics for this thing I want to build. And she goes, electronics? I got your electronics right here. And then she opens up a drawer and it's like nothing but electronics in there. <laughs> because, uh, you know, when you go to extinction, you kill animals nine times out of ten. Those animals are, um, it have electronics in them. So... And they don't weigh anything. Electronics is basically like hide. It doesn't weigh anything. So, yeah. Just trying to get that raptor there. electronics this this server has so much more advantages but I still like the twisted server advantages those are they those have got some special things about them is that a Rex oh it's a 130 Mwah. Mwah. Oh, shit Oops. Did I ki did I murderize all of you? <laughs> Shit. Might as well get some hide. Got to be careful here because there's micro raptors, and they will take you down. Oh, here's some raptors, man! It's uh, I was talking to that girl that gave me all that stuff, and she said that the event. Oh, here's a nice one. Here's a nice one right here. Oh shit! It's a tech. Uh, it's a 102. Shit. It's only a 102. It's useless. Okay, that's the good one. This is the bad one. That's a bad... Uh, this one. This one's bad. I think I'm going to have to tame this one here because that carno maybe would take a while. Let me try to get this one here. Come here, come here. Hey, stupid. Okay. All right. Really need more than that. Okay, that's a good one. So as soon as I'm done with this, by the time I'm done with this, the carno should be taken care of as well. Alright. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. That's gonna tame fast with that prime. They love Prime. Most creatures love Prime. But, like I said, this these rates on this server are boosted significantly, you know. It's too bad. I finally find a Tech Raptor, and it's only a 102. The, the highest natural level for a Tech Raptor is 180. So one time on the other server cluster, I went out looking around and I found, I swear to you, there was a 180 that's already, that was already fighting. I couldn't get to it on time and it died. There was another one that I missed and it also died. 
I managed to get a third. I think I, I found three 180s or two 180s at one time. And it was amazing. Um, the stuff I had over there, man. Just crazy. Like I said, Valgaro, man, these things are all over the place. And those planes, they're everywhere. Couple more bites and it'll be done. Yeah, one more bite and it's done. Just gotta make sure that there's no baddies running around because you never know, freaking Rex will come over the thing here. me of a girl at work. <laughs> yeah, female. Thank you. Now, hopefully she'll have better stats or maybe at least one good stat. Also, a lot of micro raptors up here sometimes. Somebody making a little trap, probably for Carnos or something. A trike. Yeah, I just thought I'd look around over here, see if I find anything. I don't see anything much. No. There's a Carno. 't yeah, you aim up sometimes it doesn't work but if you aim at the feet of the creature lower like right there on the bottom where its feet touch the ground it'll go ahead and acknowledge your placement just depends okay oh let me put some of this shit away a lot of shit here I don't need but good resources don't want to waste oil you don't want to waste any of that stuff. Drop that, put that away, put it this way, this, 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 this. Don't need any of berries. Uh, put that away. And uh, put that in there. And put this and put this so. So far, we're doing pretty good. Got a Carno, 150. We got, let's go with this. Two frogs, a Carno, a Sarko, which is, I needed a male, but that's fine. And a, 
female um, raptor 150 so that's not bad I'm very happy with that let's see I don't know if this thing's come down yet sometimes it takes forever oh no it came down already yeah this I can't wait till this candy thing is gone the only good thing about the candy is you get all these you might use, you might use. Like if I really wanted to, I can see. I used the the candy corn on my animal, and they changed the color a little bit. These sweet. Oh man, I have half a mind to go over there and get some sheep. Just to just to get sheep. Cheap sheep. Uh. I guess I can go to the highlands. I guess I can go to the highlands before the timer runs out on those sweet cakes. But if I'm going to go do that, I might as well, you know, go home, get the sweet cakes I have in storage, and take all of them with me. Ascendant. Oh, wow. 497% damage. And I got a Giga Saddle. Oh! 228 armor. The normal armor on a primitive is like 25. And that's a Wooly Rhino. And a bunch of rock. Oh, God. That was so good. That's like three out of those items or stuff I can use. Wow, I got a new Giga Saddle. One for battle. Wow, that's nice. Very nice. I like that drop. I got to remember where that, where that drop is right there. <laughs> it's next to the Wyverns, but it seems to be worth it. It's like remembering the drop that gave me that Thylo Saddle, you know. Anyway, let's uh, take the boat to the highlands and look around over there. And while I'm at it, I'll, I'll go to the boat and I'll pick up some stuff. Wait a minute, what's this? What's this? Who are you? Who are you? Your lunch. Okay. All right, let's go back here. I'm not going to unload the contents of the boat or anything, but what I will do is I'll go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff I don't need again. Jeez, I don't even want to chance it. I'm, I'm going to take that in right now. <laughs> I don't want a chance losing it. Uh, leave the that there. Take that. I can try to take that metal with me. Alright. And I'll also take all my teams. Those are the good teams. And we'll go over there and we'll uh, we'll go back home. We'll just fly home and drop this stuff off and exchange it. I don't want to lose that Giga Saddle. 200 and some points, that is almost a guaranteed win. It's almost a guarantee. If it was like a 400 point saddle, that'd be even better. But it's like so good. Because Corrupted Creatures, they do a shitload of damage. They will fucking rip up everything. And it's just, wow. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, you got a good saddle coming up, brother. You have a real good saddle. I, I almost can't believe my eyes. Look at that. Pre-made, 228.2. Oh, man. And we got a Doty saddle here. Let's see. I put that in there. And this thing. Oh, my goodness. Mine is 181. That is a blueprint for 497 wow I'm gonna put that here in a prestigious location that goes in there uh, I'll put this in there and uh, what else I want to see this that is 25 points this one is 59 points. So the one I got right now is superior. So I'll, I'll make it blue and I'll put it in there. This is a woolly rhino. I'll have a woolly rhino. So I'll put the woolly rhino thing in there. Uh, here we've got another boost of buffalo. And these other ones. I'm going to want to put them out here so they can kind of chill out. Oh, that's a lie. I put that away there. Let's put this one next to them. There we go. Yeah, she's a 150. Oh, she might have better health. I think she has better health. That's good. Uh, it's good, it's good, it's good. I always do that because uh, when I was watching that video with Tim Tony Stark Refat, it's like it's like they say it's good, it's good, it's good to convince themselves that it's good, but it's not really good. Somebody's getting screwed, you know. And this is a carno, so I'll put the carno over here in a separate area. I'll put it behind it, this guy. Uh, no, I'll put it on this side. I'll just put it there. Genius! You're a genius! And what else? I got this. Oh no, that goes in the fridge. All frogs go in the fridge. Because I'm not going to deal with them just now. Oh, wrong one. Wrong fridge. Uh, let's see, you don't need this. Here's, see, I have more sweet cakes here. And I have this regular raptor stuff. So I can probably... I'm not doing any baryonyx over there. Okay, so I got the raptor stuff. And I think that's it. Just put this frog away here. Maybe uh, see what else I can do with that. Oh man, I lucked out. I got a superior saddle for that Giga. If you look at it, you know, it's, what was it, 228 versus, let's see, it's 25, I think. Armor 25 points, dude. You want armor 25 points? Or do you want armor 200 and some points? I mean, really. Sweet. Alright, so I think we have enough to tame more shit. Now, yeah. now let's see. I'm trying to see. Oh, the t there's a timer up there. I think the timer is the uh, time for the color change. She color change to a real dark, ugly color. Damn. That actually made my thing look bad. <laughs> so it looks like it's a 24 hour color change. That's it. Alright, so the next step is to go over there and uh, 
see if I can tame some sheep because I got a bunch of sweet cakes. Now theoretically the level doesn't matter. You can still produce a bunch of sheep and they'll produce like you know use a chainsaw, uh, chainsaw to slaughter them. You know that's the way it is. And the chainsaw saw, saw will give you the most uh, wool. I think it's wool or pelt. So, yeah. And while we're over there, we'll check the uh, the red drops. Let's get out of here. Let's see on the map. See, I'm trying to get to the basically the opposite side of the island. That's a disadvantage of not having uh, teleporter access yet. I'm sure there's a teleporter network that could at least get me halfway. But uh, let's go over there. Do this. love that tea. I haven't had that uh, green tea moringa combination for a very very long time. I just been so preoccupied with everything else. That or you know the AC wasn't working. You're not going to have hot tea when the AC doesn't work. <laughs> so glad I got that laundry done. I hadn't done laundry for a while. I was running out of, you know, underwears. <laughs> and uh, all that. That's the wind. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to stop the video right here. If it's just me sailing over there. It's going to take a while. So I'm going to stop the video and I'll start it up again for the next episode. Uh, once I get over there. I think that would be fair and save you guys some time. <laughs> so have a good day or night. Bye.